Welcome. My name is Philip Swisegood, and I am back today with my good friend, Dr. Kenneth Harper from Vein Specialist of the South here in beautiful downtown Macon, Georgia. Our guest this week is someone that Dr. Harper probably knows just a little bit better than I do, and that's because this week's guest is his wife, Terry Harper, owner of Spa Medical and the Aesthetic Center for Plastic Surgery here in downtown Macon, Georgia. Terry, we are so excited to have you with us today. Thanks for joining us. So, uh, Terry, before we get started, first, congratulations on Spa Medical winning the best medical spa again here uh, this year with the Macon Telegraph. Yeah. That is such an incredible honor. But before we begin to talk through some of the details of Spa <coughs> Medical, uh, first, I actually understand that Dr. Harper is not the only person in the Harper family with an impressive medical background. Tell us a little bit about what you've done in the medical community. Yeah, well, that's correct, uh, Philip. We actually met in undergraduate school when I was in nursing, and he was in pre-med, so I was a nurse before he was a doctor. How about that? And uh, then I had the, the great opportunity to, to have the best of both worlds, where I, I worked as a nurse, and then I stayed home and helped raise our four kids, and I was the soccer mom and all of that. And then I went back to work when my youngest was probably about eighth grade and uh, worked for a few years and then decided to go back to school to get my master's. And so I'm a nurse practitioner and have been, been doing that for the last about 20 years. Wonderful. So yeah. tell us a little bit about Spa Medical and what you guys do there. Yeah, thanks for this opportunity. So our, our mission at Spa Medical is to inspire beauty through an exceptional experience through our treatments and our words. And so that's what we try to do with non-surgical anti-aging treatments that transcends all ages. And just recently, I'm so excited that we have, as of last August, 2020, we've added a surgical component to Spa Medical, the Aesthetic Center for Plastic Surgery, with Dr. Liana Lugo, who's a board certified plastic surgeon. In fact, Central Georgia's only female board certified plastic surgeon. So now through Spa Medical, we can offer surgical and non-surgical anti-aging and natural enhancement treatments. Yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. So I do understand that there are multiple treatment options available at Spa Medical. Talk to us about which ones are the most popular. Yes, yeah, so probably, you know, the facial treatments would be our most popular treatments. Hydrofacial is, is an excellent option that, again, transcends all ages, and it's specific to problems that patients come in and say they have, so we can treat that through hydrofacials. We also do medical-grade lasers. We do chemical peels, and then, of course, my expertise is more in the injectable side, so we do a lot of uh, gallons, in fact, of Botox and dermal fillers. That's fantastic. Oh. Uh, I want to bring in Dr. Harbert here. Now, do you guys have a chance to collaborate and work together? Is there a chance for bank specialists of the South and Spa Medical to kind of work jointly on some of these things? Absolutely. Actually, when Terry joined uh, the practice, she joined on the vein specialist side and she was doing the cosmetic sclerotherapy, the spider vein treatments. And then after she mastered that. She ventured into the other non-surgical anti-aging procedures. And their spa medical was birthed out of that process. But even today, uh, our offices are really in the same on the same floor. At Vein Specialist Spa Medical uh, has its own interest, separate interest, but we share a door back and forth. So we regularly collaborate on patients that we may have in Vein Specialist that I think would benefit from some of their therapies, and likewise. We go back and collaborate with them on folks that may have spider veins or some present with varicosities, and uh, we're, uh, we enjoy working together. We do, and, and one thing I'll add to that is when people see vein specialists of the South, vein specialist guys think of legs, but most people, uh, some people think of facial veins. So Spa Medical is the, is the place that we have the lasers and all that are the gold standard treatments for facial veins and then the leg veins all go to vein specialists of the South. But uh, like Dr. Harper said, my original expertise was in the treatment of, of cosmetic uh, spider veins. So, um, and I, I taught, wrote a course on that and taught that all over the country basically, and people still come to learn how to do that. So, so that's kind of my first love, if you will. And uh, I still enjoy working occasionally up in the vein specialist office with, with leg veins as well. So, 
we do collaborate and we have patients that we send back and forth to each other to get the best treatment for their particular <clears throat> issue. So I actually am curious, at what point does a, a cosmetic issue at Spa Medical become a medical issue for vein specialists of the South? Where's kind of that divide line? Yeah, so even with some facial veins that we see, um, there's possibly uh, one of the treatments would be something that Dr. Harper and his team does, and that's actually remove that vein. So we don't do any surgical uh, procedure or anything that would involve vein removal as, as opposed to spine medical would do laser treatments and treatments like that to treat the vein non-surgically. So if it does cross that line and something that's big enough that he could remove, then I like to send them over there to let him take a look. Do you want anything, Dr. Harper? Yeah, the, the one thing, uh, Terry mentioned the Aesthetic Center for Plastic Surgery. We see, we help people, uh, women's leg, and, and men too, have better looking and better feeling legs. And a lot of them is because they have uh, bulgy varicose, spider rings, or leg swelling. And a lot of our patients, once we get their legs looking better, they've always asked us, can't you do something, maybe liposuction, for, our, for the legs once the veins are better. And we're excited about having Dr. Lugo on board at the Aesthetic Center for Plastic Surgery because she offers us the ability for our patients in, under one roof and the practices that have that kind of care also, which I, we're excited about that. Wonderful. So, uh, Terry, Mother's Day is just around the corner. Talk to us about some of the offers that you guys are going to have for moms out there. Yeah, so it's a big time for us uh, because uh, a lot of husbands and boyfriends and significant others are looking for gifts for for the, the mothers. And um, so we do run some specials. We have an all day, uh, all week, I'm sorry, of Mother's Day specials pre leading up to Mother's Day. And uh, of course, gift cards are one of the favorite things that people that people like to get. And at Spa Medical, you can get, most guys don't know what their, what their lady wants. So <laughs> you can get just a, a, a monetary gift card that can be used toward any treatment that they may even decide after they get there and we suggest things after we hear their particular concern. So that's our most popular treatment. Surgically, you know, because it has a name in it, Mommy Makeover, that's a great option too, to start that process for, because uh, all ladies who have had babies have some little issues that they would like to treat and they certainly can do that quickly and seamlessly with surgery. So uh, the mommy makeover is very big um, these days. So that's an option too for surgical. So uh, we have the gamut of things. And we, what we find is that a lot of times the husbands or the sons or whomever, they have no clue uh, not only what to get, but the monetary value that is associated with the gift. So that way they can purchase any monetary value that they want and we can fit it to, the, to the, treat the do They sometimes ask you like, do you think this would be enough for a gift or something? Well, I actually have had that now that you mentioned. <laughs> I have had that. And it's a, it's a maybe a little a shocking surprise to the guys that um, some of the things may be a little more than you think. But, you know, it's no different than going to the grocery store with your husband or, or whomever, and they're shocked that, you know, a gallon of milk, what it costs, and you think it, I think it only costs 75 cents, you know. So there's always that sticker uh, shock, if you will, no matter no matter what you're dealing with. And that's true as well with, with surgical, cosmetic, non-surgical treatments. It would be like if my wife walked in Bass Pro Shops, you know, and tried to pick out exactly. something for me. I mean, she just has no idea. I love that. It's a great, great analogy. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That's great. So after Mother's Day, we obviously have summer coming right around the corner. It seems like it's warming up every day now, minus this little cold snap that we're in. Talk to us about what women can do to prepare for summer. Yeah, so, you know, summer uh, is, is the time that we want to be outside. We want to go to the beach. We want to get a little color on our pale winter skin, and uh, that's all great. But the problem is and has been sun exposure, uh, especially on light-colored skin. Sun is the number one cause of aging of skin. And, of course, we know that the medical dangers of it as well is the, the sun exposure and linked with skin cancers. So by far the number one thing that we always are talking about in preparation for beach is sunscreens 
and the difference in a sunscreen that you can buy over the counter at the grocery store or drugstore and the difference in the sunscreens that we have, which are going to be protect, they're, they're actually blocks. They're going to be protective from UVA and UVB light, which can, you know, one is more causes aging and the other causes skin damage. So um, that's going to be the number one thing we, we're going to take care of is, is the sun. After their time in the sun, almost always they have these brown areas come up on their faces and nobody likes that. So then we have a regimen of treatments for that, including laser treatments, chemical pills, and medical grade skincare products. So it's a very uh, busy time for us and it's also a time of education of our patients to prevent some of the things that we know are going to happen. And one other thing I'm going to say about sun damage that people don't realize. It's not, you haven't totally protected your skin because you decide not to go to the beach this year or last year because sun damage is an accumulation of, of photo exposure starting around age four. And then you, you accrue, or accrue this sun damage and usually it's in early 40s that people, women come in and they say, where are all these brown things coming from on my skin? Hmm. So that's, uh, and that's what we're trying to get the younger women to avoid that that shocking time when they realize there's brown by using the sunscreen early. But there's a variety of sunscreens, some even tinted. A lot of younger women can wear just a tinted sunscreen in the summer and that's their that's their coverage, that's their makeup. So uh, it's we have a lot of options, but that's the number one thing that I as long as well as any dermatologist would would harp on during this time of the year in preparation for beach time. Yes sir. I have, I have a question. I have an at, answer. At what, <laughs> at what age, I mean, there's some, probably some people that are watching who are wondering, what age should I go see Terry at Spa Medical? You know, what, when should you start? And I have another question list, but answer that one first. I have one more I want to ask. Yeah, this is a great question because uh, as, even as we look at our demographics at Spa Medical, there have been, uh, there's been a huge shift downward in the average age of the women that come. So our first several years, we're just starting our 18th year. And so our, our first several years, our average age was, was early to mid 50s. And now it's way down at 40. Uh, so a lot of younger women are, are becoming more educated to the procedures and how helpful it is for preventative as opposed to waiting until you, you desperately need things. Well, so. can, you, can you be too old to come to spa medical? What's some of the older uh, folks yeah. that you've treated? So uh, my oldest patient was actually 96 years old who came regularly. And every time she walked in the door using her assistants, mm -hmm. she, she said that she just loved the way we made her feel. Hmm. And I said, well, by all means, you, you keep coming. Right, and right. she did. <laughs> she kept coming. So uh, there's really no age limit. What we find is the younger women have different desires. And, of course, you know, they, they look different. And, and the older women in my category aren't trying to look like the younger women, but we're just trying to be refreshed and natural looking and age nicely. Well, people are always, they're surprised. Yeah, you know, they think that you're a certain age, and when do they they ask and, you that, right? And I'm older. Right, but, <laughs> but what's the secret? Why? How? Yeah. You, so that? it is true that a lot of the procedures that we do are preventative. And, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, I have that scenario a lot. You know, people come in mid-60s, they'll come in and they'll say, I want my skin to look like yours, but they've never done anything to do it. And, and I've done it for 20 years. And so you do accumulate some benefit by starting early, if you, can, if you can get the patient in early enough, by starting early, not only with medical grade skincare products, but with the procedures as well. If you, if you just look at Botox, how it relaxes the muscles that cause lines. So if you keep that muscle relaxed for 20 years, hmm. obviously you're gonna have a lot less lines that you see. Do you ever have people come in and say, man, I wish I would've started this sooner? Well, I do, especially after our educational time with them, that they, they do wish that they had started sooner because they can see the, the benefit of, of the preventative. But it's a lot like smoking. You know, you can smoke for 40 years and you say, well, what good's it going to do if I stop smoking now? And data has shown that it helps. 
even if you've smoked for 40 years, if you can stop for, for your last, you know, 10 or whatever, that it definitely helps. And, and age preventative treatments are a lot like that. So it's never too late to start to get benefit from it. So you get short-term and long-term benefit at any age that you start. I would imagine a lot of people have not heard of the aesthetic center for plastic surgery that's associated with spa medical now. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Of course, yeah. So we're trying to get the word out frantically because, uh, as I mentioned earlier, Dr. Lugo is Central Georgia's only female board certified plastic surgeon. And she comes to us not fresh out of training, but with about eight years of experience in her surgical techniques, which have proven to be, by the way, very meticulous and very thorough and very accurate. So the patients adore her. Her, her patients just love her, uh, the time that she gets to spend with them. And it really does make a difference. Sorry, guys, but it really does make a difference from a woman's perspective, woman to woman, to look and say, this is what I think would look great. So after she listens to her patients and then decides together what the procedure that they need, I think that's just a win-win. That's the perfect combination. And she's gotten really very busy uh, in, the, in the last several months of building a practice and proving credibility of herself to her patients. And uh, our social media pages have testimonials. I mean, I, I wish you could read some of them because they're just incredible uh, what people are saying about Dr. Lugo. Yeah. That's wonderful. So final question for you guys. I know y'all have worked together for years. What do you guys do for fun? Uh, just to, 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 to keep things going, having worked together for so long. Yeah, so uh, we'll both answer that, but it's interesting <laughs> that you ask because uh, probably what we think that we do for fun is, is, is go to work. <laughs> I mean, we love, we love what we do and, and we love work, but I do frequently have people say, how in the world do you work with your husband and then go home and, you know, live with him and all this, you know, talk. And, and there are two things to that. Uh, that I would say. One is uh, we have a great marriage and it's a testimony of a great marriage. We're each other's best friends. We really are. Uh, and the second thing is I actually don't really see him that much while I'm at work. <laughs> so, so he's busy doing his part and I'm busy doing my part and sometimes we'll pass in the hall and some days we don't even see each other so it's not like we're side by side all the time. Yeah, yeah. And we ride to work occasionally. We do. We ride to work together. I get there about 6 in the morning, and Terry gets there about 6.30 probably. Yeah, but, yeah. But if we don't, we'll catch up on the way home, maybe. And But we enjoy things around downtown. We're big supporters of downtown. Both of us are. We have a lot of the same interests. Uh, you'll see us over at Mercer some, uh, at sporting events, uh, the music things that are put on by Mercer, which are awesome the downtown art scene so those are in our church and our children but all of them decided to move out of town so uh so we adopt some you know, yeah. we usually regularly have Indeed. young people that we kind of take on as kind of quasi children well i do know you guys are big mercer fans i've seen you guys at, at, at many different right. games so that's Go bears. Right. that's right that's right well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, stay tuned to see where myself and Dr. Harper show up next. You never know where that might be.